Sorry, I'm late, folks. So, good afternoon. I now call to order the meeting of the directors of the New York Liberty Development Corporation for Monday, September 21st, 2015. I'd like to note for the record that I will be the acting chairman for today's meeting. Further, I would like to note that this meeting is being webcast and that we welcome public comment on the items on our agenda. The directors have received the relevant written material in advance of today's meeting and are free to ask questions at any time. Before we begin with the substantive portion of the meeting, I would like to ask the directors whether anyone has any potential conflict of interest with respect to any of the items on the agenda. If so, I would ask you to please make an appropriate disclosure on the record at this time. No. No. Great. Um, then hearing none, then our first order of business is the approval of the minutes of the director's meeting of September 1st, 2015. So moved. Great. Second. Excellent. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 And any opposed? Great. Um, thank you very much. Next, we have Jonathan Beyer. We'll present the item, one item we have today on today's agenda, a request for, among other things, final authorization for the corporation to perform certain acts in connection with the sale and delivery of the corporation's refunding bonds. Jonathan, when you're ready. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, directors are being asked to approve the operative provisions, manner of sale, offering statement, contract of purchase, and related documents in connection with the sale and delivery of the New York Liberty Development Corporation revenue bonds, Goldman Sachs headquarters issue, series 2005, second tranche, referred to more easily for the rest of the presentation as the refunding bonds. On October 12, 2005, the corporation issued approximately 1.27 billion of its revenue bonds, referred to as the prior bonds, for financing the corporate headquarters for Goldman Sachs located at 200 West Street, New York, New York. The prior bonds were issued and the proceeds were loaned to the borrower, a Goldman Sachs subsidiary, under a loan and trust agreement among the corporation, the borrower, and the Bank of New York Mellon as successor trustee. The borrower's obligations to repay the loan were guaranteed under a guarantee dated October 12, 2005 from Goldman Sachs to the corporation. On August 16, 2007, the corporation, the corporation issued an additional 235,595,000 revenue bonds, Goldman Sachs headquarters issue, series 2007, pursuant to the terms of a first supplemental agreement. The borrower's payment obligations with respect to these series 2007 bonds were guaranteed by Goldman under the same guarantee as the prior bonds. Now, the borrowers requested the corporation to issue and sell additional bonds designated as refunding bonds to refund all of the prior bonds maturing on October 1, 2015 in the aggregate principal amount of up to $22,695,000. The borrower's payment obligations with respect to the refunding bonds will also be guaranteed by Goldman under the existing guarantee. The corporation will still not be financially liable for repayment of any of these Liberty bonds from its own resources. As required by federal tax law, Regarding the issuance of private activity bonds, the corporation held a public hearing with respect to this project on September 17, 2015. No member of the public attended the hearing. Also as required by federal tax law prior to the issuance of the refunding bonds, the governor will have approved the issuance of the refunding bonds. As part of the current transaction, the corporation will enter into a second supplemental agreement to the to the loan and trust agreement, whereby the proceeds of the bonds are loaned to the borrower, and two, enter into a bond purchase contract with Goldman Sachs & Co., another Goldman affiliate, as the underwriter of the refunding bonds. Once again, the bonds will be secured by the existing guarantee from Goldman Sachs. In addition, the corporation is being asked to delegate authority to its officers to approve the final sizing, yield or yields, and other sale-related terms and conditions of the refunding bonds subject to the parameters set forth in the attached resolution. Accordingly, you are now hereby requested to approve the terms and authorize the sale of the refunding bonds on a negotiated basis, approve the form and content of the preliminary official statement and various related documents, delegate authority to certain officers to approve sale-related terms, and finally authorize certain officers of the corporation to take all other actions deemed necessary to accomplish the final sale and delivery of these refunding bonds. Great. Thank you, Jonathan. Are there any questions or comments from the directors with regard to this item? Just, just one. is clarity. This is at really being undertaken for term consistency, typically. I mean, are we trying to be consistent with the other underlying bonds? Well, I think the intent, which I 
well, actually, we have people here who can talk about the intent more, more specific, but I think that the intent is to consolidate these with longer-term bonds in, in larger size groups, which are easier to market. Any other questions for the directors? That was my question as well, George. Um, I remember hearing that at the last meeting that we talked about that as well. Right. So. I mean, it is a it is a relatively small number given the, the original size of right. the issuance. Right. So, okay, great. Um, are there any comments or co from the public with regard to this item? If not, I'll entertain a motion for approval. So moved. Second. Great. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, any opposed? Hearing none, then thank you very much. There being no further business, may I have a motion to adjourn this meeting? So moved. Second. Great. Thank you, everyone, for your participation today. Thank, thank you. you.